hi guys welcome back to another video today in this video we are going to create these beautiful buttons for website you can see these buttons looks like a 3d design and when i move cursor over these button you can see beautiful hover effect the color of these buttons are changing and it is also moving from its position we will design these buttons using html and css but before starting this video i would like to thanks bluehost for sponsoring this video bluehost is very good website to buy domain name and web hosting if you will buy a web hosting from bluehost you will get the free ssl certificate free seo tool and free cdn when you will buy web hosting for one year you will get the free domain name also in any of the web hosting plan you get the ssd storage which is very fast and you get the unmetered bandwidth it means there will be no issue with the traffic you can drive n number of traffic on your website and your website will be always up and running here you get the free ssl protection i will put the bluehost link in the video description so that you can come on this website in one click and start building your website if you don't know how to build your website with bluehost i have dedicated video on this one where you can learn how to build and publish your website in just few minutes you can find that video link also in the description now let's start this video here in this folder i have one index.html file and one style.css file let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code so this is the html file where i have added basic html structures and this one is the css file in this html file i have added this link tag that will connect html and css file next we will add the code in the body tag and here we will create one ul and in this ul we will add li where we will add list items in this one we will add one a tag so it will be a clickable link and in this one we have to add one text and one icon so let me add a text here in a span tag and this is like let me come back to the folder and open this html file with any web browser and you can see this link in the top left side which is like let me close this browser i will open the browser with visual studio code extension called live server so that it will refresh the web page automatically so you can see the same web page next we have to add one icon for that we will use font awesome just go to the fontawesome.com website here you have to create an account then click on kids here you will get this link click here and click here to copy this one line of a script and come back to the html file just above this closing head tag add this script like this after adding this script just come back to the font awesome website again click on the icons here in this drop down i'll select 5.15.4 which is fifth version of font awesome here you can search for icon that you want to use on your website so let me search thumbs click here click here to copy this code and paste it here in the html file where you want to display the icon after adding this again come to the website and here you can see one like icon and then text which is like let's come back and we will duplicate this list here we will add comments then share and subscribe next we have to replace the icon also so come to the font awesome website here we will search another icon comment click here and copy this code paste it here let me search for another icon this is the third icon for share and this one is the fourth icon after adding this you can see four icons and four text next we have to align it and we will change the color also and we have to change the color of this web page so let's come back and come to the css file here we will add body because we have to change the color of the complete web page so here we will add background this is the dark color after that we have added ul and in this one 
we have li tag so first we will add ul for this ul let's add the position absolute top 0 top 50 percent left also 50 percent transform translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent so that it will be in this center then we will add display flex you can see these icons and text in the center of the web page let's come back and here we will add ul and li for this li we will add list style none then we will add some space and display will be flex in this li you can see we have the a tag and in this a we have the icons with the i tag so first we will change the color for this icons so here we will add ul li a and i for the icon here we will add font size then we will change the color and after that some transition and some padding from the right side so there will be some space between the icon and text and we have some text in span tag for that span here we will add ulliA and span here we will add the color then we will add letter spacing and transition next we will add the css for the a tag so here we will add ul li a and here we will add display display will be flex and uh, align items center then text decoration will be none after that we have to add the width so the width will be 210 pixel and we will add height then background background will be white so triple F then we will add some space from the left side so we will add padding left 20 pixel and position will be relative and transition 0 0.5 seconds now you can see we have four buttons here with the icon and text after adding this we have to add sides of these button so that it will look like a 3d button for that let me come back and here we will copy this one and here we will add before in this before content will be empty then position will be absolute and top top will be 10 pixel left minus 20 pixel then height height will be 100 percent and width will be 20 pixel let me add the background it will be this color code transition 0 0.5 seconds transform skew y minus 45 degree now you can see the changes in this button similarly we will add a face in the bottom of these buttons so let's come back and here we will copy this one and here instead of before we will add after content will be empty position will be absolute it will be same and after that we have to add bottom bottom will be minus 20 pixel then we will add 
left left will be minus 10 pixel then height will be only 20 pixel and width will be 100 percent then background will be same transition will be same and in transform skew we will add a skew x skew x will be minus 45 degree that's it now you can see one another color at the bottom of these button now these button looks like a 3d button next we have to add the hover effect on these buttons so let's come back and here we will add ulli hover so on hover we have to change the color of the icon so here we will add i because we have the icons in i tag here we will add color it will be triple f which is white so you can see when i take cursor it is becoming white so it is not visible because the button background is also white so we have to change the background color of the button let's come back and here we will add li hover and a span so we will change the color of this a span text it is also white then again we will add the same thing and a for this a we have to change the background here we will add the another color code after adding this you can see if i take cursor the background of this button becomes red and you can see the icon and text clearly now we have to change the color of the side faces also which is in the left side and bottom so let's come back here we will add this one then a before in this one we have to add the background so here let's add another color code and duplicate this one here we will add after and again we will add another color code now you can see the color of the side faces is also changing when i take cursor over this button next we have to add the moving effect on this button and we have to add the shadow also so let's come back here in this one li hover a we will add transform transform translate it will be 15 pixel and minus 15 pixel then we will add box shadow minus 50 pixel 50 pixel and 50 pixel rgba it will be 0 0 0 0 0.5 after adding this let's refresh the website again and now you can see if i take cursor the button is also moving and you can see shadow just behind this button so finally we have created this beautiful button design using html and css i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video